Welcome back. Um, this video is going to be part two of my uh, first can uh, Tiffany candles order. Um, I went over in the first part um, the samples and the individual items and an aquatic sampler. This, vi this video is going to be their fall sampler. So let's just get into it. So this sampler, instead of Teddy Tarts, has these little um, like pumpkins. So two little twin pumpkins. And this first scent is Hocus Pocus. And I believe Hocus Pocus is a combination of um, caramel apple and candy corn. So yeah, when I smell this, it's, it's pretty strong. Um, this one's a really strong scent. Um, candy apple, and then you get a candy corn. It's like a sweet, creamy, like, note in the background. I like this one a lot. Um, the next one is Elm Street. Um, this one is like a secret blend um, between um, Tiffany Candles and I want to say, is it Vintage Chic Scents? I could be wrong about that, but this is like a secret blend, like a bakery blend. Um, <clears throat> when I smell this, I do get a caramel note. But I get a pumpkin note, and as you'll see, I'm not so far the biggest scent fan of Tiffany's pumpkin scent. Tiffany's pumpkin, uh, um, I'll talk about it when I get closer to a pumpkin scent, but this, it's a good bakery scent. I do like it. A little bit of spice, a little bit of caramel. I'm not really sure what's in here, but I'll, I think it's delicious, so let's move on. One that I do not think is delicious is butternut pumpkin. And as I was saying about Tiffany's pumpkin scents, I think her pumpkin is more like a, um, like if you, sorry, if you uh, scraped inside of a pumpkin, like the pumpkin pulp, that's what her predominant pumpkin scent smells like to me. It's less spicy than most pumpkin scents I've had before. It's more of a true pumpkin. And this butternut pumpkin is like a true butternut pumpkin like it smells like food like almost like a baby food or like a casserole or something I don't know it's too realistic for me in a wax form so I will not be melting this one sadly I will be passing it on um let's see this one is cider lane this is like the bath and body Works stoop scent um yeah it I, it's been so long since I've had Bath and Body Works actual scents because I don't like their candles that it's hard for me to remember spot on how scents smell to each other. But this you do get like the caramel apple scent and like like a fall it's like a fall caramel apple type scent. It smells really good. I'm I enjoy that a lot. Another Bath and Body Works dupe that I cannot remember if I remember the original correctly, is sweater, sweater weather. That is so hard to say, sweater weather. Um, this to me, from what I remember of the scent, doesn't smell spot on. I think this smells better. Um, yeah, you get like a, and I'm so sorry, I do not have scent notes for these, but it's just like a, there's a little bit of citrus maybe, and maybe like a driftwood type note or like a musky note. I don't know, this one's really hard for me to describe, so you might want to check out the scent description on that. But that's sweater, sweater, weather, jeez, God. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Another pumpkin scent, this is pumpkin milkshake. And of all the pumpkin scents that are in here, this is the less offensive to my nose. Um. This is good. This is like, you get the creamy, pumpkin, pulpy type smell, and it's mixed with like a vanilla ice cream, like milkshake type, creamy scent. I don't, I like this one the best out of all the pumpkins. Now me saying I, you know, it's, it's not that these are bad scents, it's just, it smells weird to my nose. And you probably will like it, you know, everybody's different. But this is my favorite pumpkin one that's in there. It's the pumpkin milkshake. Next one we have is Booberry. 
And I think this one is blueberry, strawberry, and vanilla. And I love this one. This is one of my favorites in this pack. Oh, it's delicious. You get like the blueberry and the strawberry are like even. Like you get those two scents first. And then you get like a little bit of vanilla sweetening it up, sweetening it up in the background. This one's delicious. Um, the next one I have is Autumn Rain. This one is um, not 100% my cup of tea, but I actually like it. It's like a rain, I don't like rain scents. I just, something about that scent category does, I just don't like, but this is, it's like fall dryer sheet is kind of what this smells like. I do like it more than I thought I would, but I don't know the scent notes in it. And, but it's like a cleaner type autumn scent. Let's see, the next one I have is Harvest. I think this is like a Yankee dupe. Um, this is cinnamon, cinnamon bark, clove, and musk. And yeah, this smells really good. I feel like it's a traditional like Harvest autumn type scent. You know, the cinnamon, the clove, the artsy type of craft store smell. Yeah, that's really good and that totally puts me in the mood for fall. I cannot wait for fall, you guys. Just so excited. Here is another pumpkin scent. You know how I feel about pumpkin scents. I don't know why, I mean, it, they're okay. They're actually kind of growing on me. This is Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, and I thought this was gonna smell similar to Bath & Body Works Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, and it doesn't. The pumpkin in this is completely different. There's no, and I don't even think that Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow has pumpkin in it, but I don't know. This, I get the pulpy, like, real pumpkin note. And then I get just like a slight vanilla. This one's not too bad. I will probably use this one. Um, it's it's just not my favorite. I prefer a little bit more, just a little bit more spice in my pumpkin scents. All right, the next one is kind of a miss for me too. Um, this is Cookies, Cakes, and Shakes. Um, this is like really strong. like. One thing I noticed, this this uh, her autumn fall scents are really, really strong. They're way stronger than the aquatic sampler that I just sent, uh, told you. And that might be just like why I'm going to have to melt these scents before I can say whether I like it or not. Just because they're so concentrated, it might just be too much for our nose at the time. So I am going to try to melt all these, maybe with the exception of that butternut squat, butternut pumpkin. I don't know if I can do that one. But this is another one that I'm not so sure about. This is Cookies, Cakes, and Shakes. So this one is like a very cherry almond white cake kind of scent. I just don't like that cherry almond note. And it's got like a, I don't, I don't really know how to describe it, but it's not my favorite. Um, I don't know how I feel about this. I might use this as a mixer though. So we'll see. And the final one in this uh, little sampler, this is Leaves, another Bath & Body Works dupe. Um, this one smells really good, just like every leaves type scent you've smelled. Um, you get the apple, you get the, the leaves, autumn scent, and a little bit of spice. Yeah, this is really good. So overall, this was a good sampler. I don't want it to seem like I didn't enjoy it just because of the pumpkin scents, but like I said, they are so strong that I think I'm gonna have to melt them before I can give my full opinion on them. So if you're interested in that full opinion, uh, subscribe and I will do a review. Um, I am always do like empty videos for like melts and stuff. So that will be my next video. I do have a Candles by Victoria only um, empties. So if you're interested in that, subscribe. Otherwise, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed my Tiffany Candles haul and I will talk to you later.